What is up guys, Voldu here, and welcome back to another Fire Emblem Cypher unboxing today. We're going to be unboxing this bad boy. This is the, uh, the Warblade of Heroes booster box. So inside here, we got 16 blind packs. I believe there are 10 cards in each. I want to say 10 cards in each. And we'll just take a look around the box. I mean, it's all in Japanese, so unless you can really read it. I mean, they're nice pictures. You know, you got Kane, you got Tiki, you got Tharja, and you got Robin. And, of course, Marth and Lucina on the front. But there is one hollow in each of these packs as well. I'm going to go ahead and start popping this open. Oh, there's actually a tiny portion that was already kind of open. Oops. So it just tore while it was in the mail, or just sitting on my desk and something snagged it. I don't know, but I've been wanting to open this for a while. And I believe there are only two cards in here that I don't actually know what characters they are. But that is fine, because I got handy dandy Google at the ready. And for all the hollows, got these nice card sleeves, the Fire Emblem 25th Anniversary card sleeves. Nice and Silvery, glossy. Uh, you can you can kind of see a distorted me in there. Hi. <laughs> uh, but yeah, got these nice card sleeves for all the hollows. So let's get into this. Uh, I believe we can set this up. There's also a bonus card in this. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. See if I can set this up. Don't want to bend it. Don't want to ruin anything. I want it to look all nice. Okay. So. go and there we go nice and presentation here's a code for you all with the uh, with fire emblem if don't know what this does uh, I couldn't guess based on the picture either but it does something for you fire emblem if people so hopefully one of you can get that and enjoy that. But here we got our promo Kamui or Korin, depending on how you want to know it as it's both the same person. We got um, male Korin, which Korin is Kamui in the releases outside of Japan. But this is kind of like alluding to set two, which is uh, the Hoshido and North side cards. And this is the Hoshido Kamui with the white border. But you get one of these. Just you get one or the other. It's random in your booster boxes. And then what is this? Oh, can I pick it up? Oh, is this just a way for them to scan it, I guess? Like retailers? I don't know. But we got these cards in here. Look at the pack real quick before we get into it. Now, let's see. So there's a tear here. So let's just let's just get going. See what kind of what kind of goodies we got. Looks like there's some sort of is there a code card or something in all of this. Oh god, that opened terribly. All right. So, there's something in the back of this. What is this? Oh. oh, I guess this is a card list that we can't read, but I have a card list over on my other screen. I guess just in case we run across something that I can't distinguish who the character is, I guess we'll get 16 of these. But let's, let's get into this. So, first of all, um, I'm going to try and get translations over here. Um, I'll have to make them, but shoutouts to Serenus Forest for compiling the data to be able to make them. But we got Cherche, or Church, or however you want to say it. I always say a Cherche. We got a board slash cord. Uh, I don't remember which one this is right offhand, but it's one of them because we opened it in the Marth starter deck. We got a Tharja. Oh, look at that card. Tharja's one of my favorites. Or Tharja. 
some people pronounce the J with a Y. I don't know what is correct, but I'm gonna say Tarja. We got <sighs> board and cord in the same one, whichever one is which. They're both right here. We got a Tiki. This is the uh, the Shadow Dragon Tiki instead of the older Tiki. I mean, she's still like a thousand years old in this card art, but still. Nice and cute Tiki with the butterflies. We got a female Robin. I believe the only Robin in the in this booster pack is actually the female Robin. Um, the male one is a promo in, I think, the Fire Emblem Cypher guidebook. Which I was not able to get my hands on, unfortunately. But there's female Robin. You. You are, I believe, one of the two characters that I actually do not know. Alright, this is Athena. Myrmidon from Parts Unknown. Um, I believe she is from book two of Mystery of the Emblem, and I have not yet gotten that far in the game. But this is Athena. Uh, this is Julian? I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this is Julian. If it's wrong, I'll, I'll put editing and whatnot to correct my mistake. But, I mean, it's treasure, red hair. I'm gonna go ahead and take a shot. That is Julian. Oh, you can start to see our hollow in the back. We got a nice Sully card there. And our hollow is... Ooh! Okay. So this, I believe, is Sheeta, right? I actually want to double check that. I want to say that's Sheeta, because I'm trying to think any other blue hair Pegasus Knights. Might be Katua? Or Katria? It is Katria. Katua, Katria. That's our nice hollow. Nice rainbow effect there. So to say, Sheeta, I, I'm pretty sure has longer hair than that. That was right. Well, second time. But we're gonna go ahead. Should have opened these. So first pack always gonna be the slowest. That's that's how these videos usually are. Ooh, these actually feel really nice. It's like a, a matte finish on the back. A nice snug fit. It's right there. All right. Let's get into pack two. All right. Of course, we got one of those. We got, uh, oh, what is your name? It was literally like right there. Merrick. We got Merrick. We opened the same card from the Marth booster, booster box. We got Gaius here. His face is kind of strange looking, kind of off putting, but you know, he's got his candy and I'm sure he's happy. And we got, let's see, that's Pegasus Knight, so that's not, oh, that's one of the three sisters. Is this Est? I don't know the sisters by their hair right off the bat. That is, no. Oh, this actually is Minerva. This is a Pegasus Knight Minerva. Is she a Pegasus Knight in the DS remakes? Because that's strange. I, I, I was like, red hair makes me think of Minerva. It is Minerva. Just not on her wyvern. Interesting. We got, oh my god, this adorable card of Maribel. This was in the uh, Awakening starter deck. This is probably one of my favorite cards from that starter deck too. Probably in general. Like, it's so goddamn adorable. We got Stall here. Nice green knight. Part of the Christmas knights that started all the way back. And we got, I'm gonna guess, let's see, blue hair, is this Paula? Paula? That's green hair, so this would make this Catria. Yes, this is the basic Catria, where our non-basic is this one, the promoted, the nice and shiny one. This is just the basic uh, Catula, Catria, however you want to say it. Whichever translation you like, the fan translation or the official. Or the English move, whatever. We got Virion with his nice flowing hair. We opened this same card in the Awakening deck. We got Ashida with... Her face portions are a bit off, but you know, whatever. We got Sheeta. 
And we got Awakening Tiki. So, not not a tiny little girl anymore. She is, I mean, she was a thousand years old in that picture, but now she's, I think in this one, she's like 3,000. Because Awakening's 2,000 years after Shadow Dragon. There's Tiki, and our Hollow is... Olivia! Oh my god, look at that card. Olivia looking adorable as well. I love these arts. I really, really love these arts. Come on, come on. I was like, I couldn't get the sleeve open. There we go. Nice Olivia. Alright, pack number three. Alright, so we start off with Abel. I mentioned whenever we did the Awakening deck. I'm not a fan of this Abel art, but either way, we got Abel. We got a Wayne. I mean, I guess that that fit that that face fits a Wayne's personality, but it still looks really strange. <laughs> but we got a Wayne there. We got Doga or Drog. And we open this one in the uh Shadow Dragon starter deck. We got Batman Jerome. Uh, Cherche's kid from Awakening. And we got Gordon. Again, another card from the uh, from the Shadow Dragon starter deck. We got Sumia. Alright, here's a new card. I think. Sumia in the Awakening deck? I actually don't can't remember. I don't know, but there's Sumia. All right, now we've, we've got one of each of the Pegasus sisters, I believe. This one is Paula, Paula, however you want to say, because it's, it's weird. It's spelled weirdly in the fan translation, but Paula, the strongest of the three sisters, and we got uh, da, 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 almost a Navar. I his name is disappearing in my head. I'm using him currently. Ogma! Ogma! There we go. We got nice Ogma card. This was in the uh, fire, or the the Shadow Dragon deck as well. We got another Jerome. We got upgraded Jerome. Look at all the spikes on him. Oh my god, Jerome looks like he's about to destroy everything. Look at him. Oh, I love this card. This looks so cool. Okay, and our hollow rare is a Navar. It's like a really cool effect. I don't know if you guys can see it too well on camera. There's like a really cool looking effect throughout the entire card. Like, I don't know if you, hopefully you guys can see it because there's just this amazing pattern on it. But there is Navar, our rare. Come on. Alright. Okay, moving on. Some awesome, awesome card arts in here. The rares so far have been mighty fine, mighty fine. I don't know how they do the rares, like if all the hollows... I... The only real TCG I'm familiar with currently, I used to play Yu-Gi-Oh back in the day, but I don't remember it enough to really make any references, or like comparisons. But Pokemon, every card in their booster packs nowadays can be a hollow because they have like the reverses and stuff. I'm wondering if the hollows in this can be any card or if are they all predetermined, like only these will be hollows and so on. Sorry, Kina. All right, so we got another adorable Maribel here. We got a uh, da, 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 Maria, because this there's two healers, two girl healers you get. There's Rena and there's Maria. Which one is this? Cause I actually think they both have red hair. <laughs> now that I'm really thinking about it, this one is Maria. All right, she's still looking adorable. That staff. We got Long Ku. I can't remember. I believe this card was in the Awakening deck. I feel. Did, did they make like his ability like Gynophobe or something? Or am I making that up? I don't know. Either way, he is the Gynophobe. And we got Marth. 
Nice Marth card. I don't remember if this one was in the Awaken or the Shadow Dragon starter deck or not. But either way, you got a nice Marth card here. We got Inigo, Olivia's son. The uh the, one of the main heartthrobs that people like in Awakening. Alright, you. Blue hair, long blue hair makes Oh no, this is this this has gotta be Elise. This is Mars sister. There's there's no uh, nothing else that this could really be, unless I'm completely wrong. If I am, then of course, edits will make me look like an idiot. But that's fine. That's fine. And we got Lucina. I believe this same card art was in uh, the Awakening deck as well. We got... Well, this is the same art as the box and everything. Nice Marth. This was... Was this the Hollow that was on the front of the Awakening deck? I think it might have been. And we got Anna. One of my favorites in uh, Awakening, because you actually get the player, but she's in, like, every game. Nice Anna. And our holo is... Whoa. Lon Koo. There's so much going on in this card. Oh my god, that looks amazing. Alright. Nice Lon Koo. Holo. Rare. Go. It's in its sleeve and everything. This one doesn't have a pattern like Navarre. Still looks really cool. Alright. 20 packs of that. Only four. Jesus. It's gonna have heavy editing. So we're starting this one off with a share shade, just like the first one. Wait. <laughs> Wait a second. Share shade and then board slash cord. What is going on? Wait. Is this an exact clone of the one pack we've already opened? There's Tharja. There's the other board slash cord. Okay, something different. That was really strange. That was really, really strange how that happened. But we got Naui. I think we got Tiki last time, but here we got Naui. Still adorable. Even though her clothes are a bit, you know, Strange. A lot of people don't like Naoi just because of the clothes she wears, and a lot of people find her annoying, but the clothes she wears are, are kind of not something she'd be wearing for her body type, even though she's a thousand years old, whatever. But Naoi, I like her. Got stall. Alright, pink hair! So that would mean this is Est? Is this Est? Yes, yes, this is Est. So much pink in this card. And we got, oh my god, what is your name? You're the Chameleon. Your name is different, completely different in the translation and in the official. The official name is Zane. I forget what his name is in the translation because I don't usually ever use him a whole lot. But he's the Chameleon, the, the shapeshifter guy. Can transform into your, uh, your units. We got Krom. Nice Chrom card. I believe this is the same Chrom that was in the Awakening deck. And our rare is... Nice Minerva card! Look at that! Minerva on a dragon this time instead of a Pegasus Knight. Use that Dragon Knight Wyvern Rider. Alright. Sleeve it up. There is Minerva. Okay. Okay. Normally, I like to preserve at least one pack. But the way these open aren't very friendly. Okay, we got another. Okay, so I'm starting to notice kind of something weird. I don't know if it's just coincidence or not, but we're starting this pack with Merrick. So the last pack with Cher Shea, and it was a very, very similar pack to something we had already opened. Let's see. We got Merrick. We got Gaius. We got um, Minerva as the Pegasus Knight, again. We got the adorable Maribel again. We got Paula again. 
We got a different Sully than the first one we saw. I think this is the Sully that comes in the uh, Awakening deck. All right, is this a no? Not able. Um, blonde hair. I believe this is like the the lover of Midia, right? Let's see if I can find him. Astrum. Astrum is his name. That is right. I never use him. <laughs> Maybe if I used him more, I would I would recognize him better. When I knew who he was, I just could not think of his name. We got Astrum. Here's a new card. We got the upgraded Gordon, which we have also seen in the uh, Shadow Dragon, you know, Marth starter deck. We got what am I looking at? This is a Wayne, but I this art. Both of the Owain arts are super, super strange. But hey, whatever. Owain's, Owain's an interesting person. And our rare is... Linda! Or Lind. Whichever one it is. Because in the uh, translations, the fan translation, it, her name ends with an E. And Shadow Dragon ends with an A. Alright. Getting into the next pack here. So, there, yeah, there's got to be a pattern, like, like how these start is very similar to other packs. Or maybe we're just, it's just all coincidence. I don't know, we got another Owain. Got a Drog, or Doga. Jerome. Gordon. So things we've already seen, I'm not going to really, I'm not going to give the translation again. We're just going to, you know, go through them rather quickly like we're kind of doing now. Sumia. Got, oh, god damn it. This is blue hair, so this Est is red hair, Paula is green hair, so this is Katoa, or Katria. You got a Virion. Is this in focus? It's a little bit blurry, maybe? Or maybe it's just my eyes. Hopefully it's not blurry. I really hope it's not. Alright, is this upgraded Maria? So it's not Maria, so it, that mean it must be Rena. Yes, this is the bishop, the promoted version of Rena. Looking nice and serene there. Nice red hair. Got stall. This is the stall, or at least one of the stalls that was in uh, the Awakening starter deck. And a rare. Ooh, this is another one that has that like interesting texture for it. It's not the same texture, but it it has a texture to it. I can kind of see it. A nice uh, Marth rare. Okay. Oh, no, don't sleep. Please cooperate. Okay. So there we go. Another look at Marth there. Alright, this one kind of cooperated. Kind of. Okay. So here we go. We got a Maria to start off with. We've seen this one already. We got Lon Ku. We got Marth. We got Inigo. We got... Oh my god, I just looked at your name. I don't remember it. Uh, da, 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 da. I almost said Atlas. It's like, no. Uh, Ast... Is it Astro? Astrum. I was close. I know it was Astra with another letter at the end. It was a consonant, and I couldn't remember which consonant, but Astrum. Lissa. All right, here's a new card. I think this was in the Awakening deck, but we have not yet got it from the booster box. Nice Lissa. Another Elise, Marth's sister. Upgraded Gordon. Another Strange Owain card. And our rare is a Hollow Nowy. Look at that. No texture, but still looking looking mighty fine. It would be nice. I do know there are... Like, we, we get a hollow, but there are also, like, super rares. I don't know what their official term is, but they're signed by the artists themselves. It would be awesome to get one of those, but most 
I, I've done a little bit of reading and it seems most people get like maybe one every two booster boxes. So if we get one, we'll be nice and lucky because this is the only booster box I currently have. Oh, we got, okay, we're starting this one with something new. We got Morgan. Is this female or male Morgan? I actually cannot tell because both of them are pretty androgynous. But either we got Morgan. Another new one, uh, this should be Rise, Reese, however you want to say it. It starts with a W. I, at least I think it is, unless it's the other guy. But I think the other guy has facial hair. Yeah, W-R-Y-S. I say Rise. So, that's him. There's a new one. We got, wow, everything in here. We got Hector. So far, all new cards. I like it. I like it. It's Hector with his crow buddies. We got a different Aguma. My, my powerful there. Looks like he's in the arena. Got a Sully. We've seen that one. We got Est. We got my buddy Frederick. I, just, I mean, I believe this is the only version he comes in, the upgraded Frederick, because there's... I mean, Frederick never down, down classes. We got Frederick. I believe this was in the Awakening deck. Navarre, this was in the Shadow Dragon deck. We got another Tharja. This is a different Tharja than the ones we have seen. I believe we have we have seen two of them so far. Tharja in the desert. Like where you recruit her. And our rare is... A... Est. Okay. So, we have not seen this, have you? Have we? What is this one? No, we've seen we've seen Katwa or Katria, but not Est. Here we go. Oh, as I bumped the camera, I apologize. I'm great at doing things. I promise. <laughs> but maybe not. Alright. I'm gonna go another look at Est there. All right, I'm getting better with opening with the knife, so that's that is helping things. Even though I'm editing out for you, it's still making things quicker for me. We got Maria, Lon Ku, Marth, Inigo. Proud to take this out. This is, I believe this is Sheeta, unless this is all a different version of Elise. Because either way, I've not yet seen this card. Let me scroll up because Sheeta's gonna be near the front. Yeah, Wings of Restoration, Sheeta. Alright. Looking looking cool, looking cool. I like it. Interesting art. Another Lissa. Another Athena. I remember her name. I don't know who she is, but her name's Athena. I know that much. Navar. Another Desert Tharja. And our rare is... A Merrick. This is the upgrade America? Didn't we get this same hollow in as like a pro promo? I feel like this is one of the promo hollows we got in the uh, Shadow Dragon starter deck. But now we got the official hollow. Both have two different numbers on them, like the BO1028R. Sure is not on the one in the. Star Dragon starter deck. All right, we're looking. I can see the bottom on this side. We got another Morgan. Rise. Uh, Henry. Why his name just failed me for a second. Aguma. Tiki. Oh, Shadow Dragon Tiki. Got another female Robin. I believe this is Midia. I mean, it's purple armor. So I'm going to... Oh, yeah, you can see the horse. I like, I don't see a horse. It's, it's there. Just a little bit hidden. <laughs> we got Midia. There's a new one. We got... This is Maria. This is the upgraded Maria. Tell Because the faces are actually the same. So I was not sure on the... Uh, the Rena we found... 
she's looking adorable. We got the upgrade of Virion, still looking amazing with his hair. Not blowing in the wind anymore, but still Virion. And our rare is... Paula! So look at that! We got the three Pegasus Knights. Pegasus Knight Sisters, I should say, because there's more than just three Pegasus Knights. Three Pegasus Knight Sisters. That's that's great. I like that. I'm, I'm glad we got all three of them. Okay. Okay. Oh, we start in this one with someone new. We got Noir, the Starge's daughter. We got Kane. If you get to see him from the booster box, you know he's on the side. You, you know he's right there. Same exact card art too. There she is. She's one of my favorite. She's probably my favorite kid. The Severa. Nice red hair. Love it. Love it. There's that Able card again. This is a different Chrom. His face is looking a bit strange, but hey. Card itself still looks looks pretty good. We got Linda. This is the Linda that you get in the Awakening, or not Awakening, the Shadow Dragon starter deck. We got Sumia. We got the upgraded Maria again. And, uh, oh, no, there's still one more before the rare. The upgraded Virion again, and the rare is... Abel. All right. Nice hollow Abel card. Still not a huge fan of the Able, either of the Able card arts, but this one, this one looks better than the other one at least. There's three more packs after this one. So we start in this pack off with Naui. Is this the same Naui that we've saw, that we've seen already? I believe it is. If not, it's on the screen. Navar, I don't believe we've seen this Navar. I like this card. He's in the arena, wielding two swords. I'm getting fancy with it. And we got Gregor with Nally in the background. I like this. I, I, I like it. There's a new card for us, too. We got Rena, the non upgrade, the basic form of Rena this time. Or Lena. Whichever one. Cordelia. She was in the Awakening starter deck as well. I believe it's the same exact art. But first time we're seeing it in the booster box. In the booster box, got this same Chrome we got in the last pack. We got Midia, George, the amazing bow user of the Marth games. Nice upgraded George. I don't. I mean, you get him as a sniper, so I don't think there is a basic version of George. And our rare is... Oh, nope, nope, not yet. Got Lucina. I believe we have this in the uh, Awakening Star deck. And the rare is... Cher Shay. Upgraded Cher Shay rare. I like it. I like it. You can actually see Minerva's face right here. It's really dark. Hopefully you guys can see it though. Looking all fierce. Okay, so three packs remain. So we're starting this off with a uh, Ashida, Noir, Kane, Severa. Love it, love it. Another Athena, Krom, Linda. We got an upgate up up. Graded Doga slash Drog. Oh my god, with the lightning in the background, he's about to bring the pain. Bringing the pain. We got an upgraded Severa. Didn't even know there was one. But awesome. More Severa is always, always good. And a rare is... Oh, Wayne, I'm so glad we've not gotten doubles on the rares. That is making this amazing. This one is also textured. 
I don't know if the textured means it's like even more rare or what. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in a sleeve real quick. Look at it some more. His face is strange in all of these. This one is probably the least strange of them all. I think the same artist did all three Owain cards though. This one's like a, a swirl pattern. I don't know if you can see it. Hopefully you can. Hoping you're able to see the patterns on them. Because they really just add so much more to the card. We start in this one off with the dual wielding Navar. Gregor. We got uh, Rena. Cordelia. Uh, Frederick. I almost said Stall for some reason. Elise. Lucina. Marth. Another Anna. Oh, that and our rare. <laughs> Forgot to stop. I, I thought we had one more left. And our rare is a Hollow Sumia. Don't believe we've seen this one yet. Another look. Oh, Halloween the sleeve. No texture, but still looking looking nice. Sumia actually looking fierce for once. All right, one pack left. And I'll show you real quick what the inside of the box looks like. Looks pretty neat. There's also like a little divider you can kind of see in there. It has more characters on it. So then it has all Awakening characters the other side have. Yeah, the other side has all Shadow Dragon characters. Cool. Okay. Final pack. Let's see if we can get one of those signature cards. That would be amazing to end this on. All right. Let's see. Sheeta. Noir. Kane. Severa. Abel. Lucina. Lind. Barst. So here's the first Barst we have found in the booster packs. It's the same one we get in the Shadow Dragon deck. We got the upgraded Henry. Oh my god. Looking happy as everything around him is bleeding. <laughs> the dark tones. And our final rare is... Okay. We got a rare, also textured, Sheeta. I will take it. We did not get any dupes. It's not, not, not a signature card. But hey, I think we did mighty fine. Look at that. Let's see if we can. What is the texture on this one? Kind of, kind of like sun rays. If you can see it. You can kind of see it like down here. All right. Nice giant stack of cards there. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I definitely plan on getting more of these. You know the. I know the. Um, Fate slash if cards are already out, those booster boxes, and then the Tellius games with my boy Ike, those are going to be in wave three of the Cypher releases. And based on just how we have not heard anything about, <laughs> about um, Fire Emblem Fate's release date here in North America, or really anywhere other than Japan. We might be doing that before we go to the Fate stuff, even though Tellius is paired with another wave of Fates, but eh, whatever. We'll, we'll figure something out. But again, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you got the code, let me know. I just and Let me know what it is, because I would love to know what it actually is. Um, hopefully this didn't, run, this didn't run too long. If it did, I apologize, but I wanted to show and appreciate each art the first time we saw it. And, you know, the packs gaming issues as well. But if you're interested in buying these, uh, there are plenty of places that will import them. The place I get it is AmiAmi. Not sponsored or anything. And just letting you know. Spreading the information. And, um, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. And I will see you all later.